Howdy guys, Bookie Laura here. I'm a bit late with this, but today I'm bringing you my February wrap up. If you haven't seen before, then what I do is I set a timer for one minute, in which time I try and sort of summarize what the book is about, but also how I feel about it. So I'm setting one minute timers on my phone and I'm gonna see how we get on. The first book, which I think I read, in uh, February it was Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I read this as part of a buddy read with uh, Charlie Brooks and Simone, who I will probably not link to below, but I intend to. It basically follows a, the, a family of four sisters and their mum in kind of past and times. I'm sure it's more specific than that. But it's basically a kind of, yeah, historical family tale telling the story of their lives, both ups and downs. I think it's quite cute as a book and I'm really glad that I read it but I must admit that I found it quite hard going. It didn't come as easily to me as I thought it would. Uh, I found it hard to get going with it and then um, what I would find is that once I got sort of reading it was okay and I enjoyed the story but I don't think if, if I hadn't been reading it as a buddy read I think I'd have been more tempted to give up. But also the character of Jo is absolutely wonderful and sums up basically everything that I am and want to be. She was she was ahead of her time, it's fair to say. So next up is an audiobook I've been listening to a lot more of them this year and this was The Broken Bridge by Philip Pullman. It basically tells the story of Ginny who has assorted family tragedies as all of these books seem to have but basically she doesn't know her mum. She's told that her mum died when she was young and but she feels a connection to her and and she's really interested in sort of seeking that out and seeing who she is. I think because she's a teenager, it's that kind of coming of age, who am I? I want to know where I fit in the world. Um, it was okay, I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't the best book I've ever read, but I did find that I was intrigued and wanted to see how the loose ends would kind of tie together because it feels at times like there's a lot of random events going on, but they do come together in the end. And I think it was one of these that felt quite deep possibly a little too deep for me. I'm not really much of a deep person, which is perhaps why I didn't enjoy it as much as other people did. One second to go. And after that, I read The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Fairly chunky book, but uh, it was one that I picked up at the library and I absolutely adore this book. It's worth saying right from the start. It basically follows the story of a kid. I mean, I can't even remember his name. Todd, Todd Hewitt. And uh, he sort of lives a simple life in this town that he's always grown up in. And then basically much drama strikes and he has to go off and venture off on a mission on his own. And it's that kind of thing. I think that was the, the sort of journey quest that I, element that I really liked about it. But also the fact that he was discovering more secrets about this kind of, you know, what troubled world and his upbringing was all lies. And I found that really interesting, I think discovering more about himself but also having a, a quest and adventure to read alongside it was really interesting and I did give this five stars and I absolutely loved it and I will be reading the rest of the series and I really want to know more people who've read this because I loved it. And after that I read Artemis Fowl The Arctic Incident because I am taking part in the Artemis Fowl read along that's happening this year. Uh, it's Taylor from Page Screen Taylor and also Cara from Wild Book Garden. They're sort of hosting it along with somebody else who I don't remember. Uh, but basically, it's the second book in the Artemis Fowl series and it follows them on an Arctic incident. I mean, if you're interested in Artemis Fowl, then you all know what it's about, so I'm not going to go too much into plot. I really did enjoy this. I think I enjoyed it more than I enjoyed the first book. I think for me, in the first book, the characters felt very sort of flat, very one-dimensional um, and very kind of cliche like this is the person you're going to be and everything about them was that black and white whereas in this book I felt they became a lot more grey that's my analogy and I'm sticking with it but actually the characters were far more complex um, than they were in the first book you learned more about them you learned about their motivations and why they were like that and actually the decisions and the choices that they make were were yet yeah, more grey it wasn't just it felt far more grown up than the first one, I think, as well. So I'm loving the Artemis Fowl series. Really glad I decided to join in. After that, I listened to another audiobook, which was Navigating Early by Claire Vanderpool, I think. It basically follows the story of a kid who ends up getting sent to some boarding school because his mum dies and his dad doesn't want him, which seems a little harsh. And also, why so much parents dying? 
uh, but also then he meets a character called Early, Early Auden, who is seemingly on the autistic spectrum. He has a lot of uh, strange behaviours and mannerisms and what have you. And basically one day they end up going off onto a quest to sort of seek out some big bear or something. It's all very random, but I think for me I was really intrigued by Early, the way he was described, and and I think that was what made me want to keep on reading. As the story went on, it felt like it just got more ridiculous. The plot felt just really out there and I I just didn't enjoy that. Some of the things that were happening, it was like... It, 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 it wasn't fantasy. It didn't feel like it was supposed to be suspending reality and belief in normal things. But it just felt so random, like that would never happen when you're out on a walk through the woods. Um, but I did enjoy it. Aside from that, I mean, I still gave it four stars, despite the fact that it was utterly ridiculous towards the end. But yeah, I really did enjoy it. I love the fact that I'm just picking up audiobooks at my library that are books that I would never have sort of looked at in a million years and actually enjoying them. Then after that, I read Hidden Figures by Margaret Lee Shetterly. This is nonfiction and it tells the story of the black women who played their part as computers in the space race, basically. Um, I, this was highly recommended to me and lots of people said, oh, you should read it. It was the one that was chosen from my TBR jar by, by my channel and I found it really hard work, I'm not going to lie. I always have struggled with non-fiction, so it's not a massive surprise, but I just, I just felt utterly exhausted by it and it was very fact heavy and there was no attempt to disguise it in sort of uh, as a as a fiction as as storytelling about these women it was just like fact 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 it was quite intense intense is probably the word i would use to describe it and i think the only thing that kept me going was that actually i was quite interested i did find it interesting it was just so intense and so dense that i didn't enjoy it as much as i thought i would i suppose that's it and then the final book, which I listened to again as an audiobook, was called uh, Counting by Sevens by Holly Goldberg Sloan. I'm looking on the phone. It basically tells a story of a girl who appears to be on the autistic spectrum. Maybe the library is recommending these to me, I don't know. And it explores her life because obviously she's adopted and then obviously her parents die because that appears to be a really strong theme. And her life is thrown into absolute turmoil because of who she is and what she has experienced. And it's kind of about her learning to trust again and developing relationships and discovering who she is. And I was surprised how connected I felt with the characters, that actually, as the book went on, by the end I did just feel like I wanted a really happy ending for them. The ending is utterly ridiculous. Like, I read it and just thought, what even is this? You know, it was like, oh yeah, and then they all get married and live happily ever after, but but I enjoyed it enough to forgive that, I suppose. So this is going to be quite a long video, but those are the books I read in February. If you've read any of them, let me know. March, I'm doing middle grade March, I'm expecting to be quite hefty again, and I'm not doing a TBR selection because I'm just reading my middle grade books. Hope you are too. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.